So, welcome to day two then of week six of the Stars of the Six Online League. It's Royal Ascot day two. Today, we've got another 12 race card, not all from Ascot. Today, we've got two races from elsewhere as well. Ten races that we do have from Royal Ascot are the following ones. We start off with the Ribblesdale Stakes, a mile and a half race for three-year-old fillies. And there's some top-class looking fillies in there. City Night for Thunderspark is the top-rated lights. And Sirens for Django is also a previous winner. And there's quite a lot of new horses in that hike in there first run so that could be a wide open race then the feature of the entire meeting is next the Ascot Gold Cup and we have got a really exciting looking race on our, on our hands there because Koyak for John Morgan is going for an unprecedented third consecutive victory in this race and is being taken on a main challenger as a stable companion Sergeyevich so great sporting attitude there by John Morgan to try on the one hand to uh, get Koyak to win three gold cups which would be absolutely incredible but on the other hand he's prepared to take it on himself with Sergeyevich which is pretty good there's some others in there they've got a chance as well Sinatra for Molly at Surfer has got to be in there with a chance also there's uh, Blue Final for David Robertson and um, also Paul Rhodes has got one in there Oi Toy and there's quite a few in there with chances but you would think it's going to be between those two John Morgan horses and it should be a fascinating race for the Gold Cup after that one we've got the first handicap of the day that's the Britannia Stakes that's a three year old race over a mile Beaujou Euless for Vinnie Gerard is the clear top rated one there by a good five pounds but there's plenty in there that look like they could give him a decent sort of a race although there aren't many winners in a race looking down the field I can't see anything that's won in its last four outings race number 16 is the Tercentenary that's a mile and a quarter for three year olds a group three event and Black Mamba for Joshua Sutherland is just the top rated one in that one after three wins and a third in his last four outings it's not surprising is it quarter queen for Darren Thompson is rated a pound inferior Margaret Court would be an apt winner on the day that Wimbledon starts 100 million to Molly at Surf has got to be in there with a chance and Wu Chang Grassor was also a winner a few races ago there's one or two newcomers in there including Nitbot for Thunderspark which has always been worth a look at Race number 17 is the second handicap of the day, the King George, the fifth handicap. And that one, Elrond for Joshua Sutherland, is top of the ratings for that one again, but only just by one pound from Simon Polar for Derek Hinton, who looks a little bit high in the weights to me. Thunder Moon for Darren Thompson is the third best rater, but Kempton was a winner last time out for Carla Agante, a magic man for Daniel French has been second twice and won once in its last three outings and we get a massive £18 from Elrond, so that one looks like it could be worth a look in that race. Then the only two-year-old race of the day on day two is the Albany Stakes, a six-foot event for two-year-old fillies to group three event and Enchanted Ghost for John Morgan is unbeaten and is rated £15 higher than everybody else, so ought to be a bit of a banker for a lot of people, but Lafayette for Steve Rand and Soul Burst for Thunderspark and Newcomers will be worth keeping an eye on. After that, we'll go to Newbury for a maiden. We still will be keeping your company. We've got two maidens there. And then we'll be back here at Royal Ascot for the King Edward VII Stakes, the Ascot Derby. It's a mile and a half. A top rated horse in that one is Favourite Son for Django. Cadonia for Thunderspark isn't too far behind in the ratings either. But to be fair, most of the horses in that haven't got much form at all than expect for a race like this. So you'd wonder about the newcomers. But considering the two newcomers are Paul Scarner for Darren Christensen, who's making his debut week, and the other one is Exposition, that's one of mine. I don't think the newcomers are going to be troubling the judge too much. So it could be, uh, could be a win for Favourite Son in that one. Race number 22 is the Phillies again. It's three-year-olds over a mile. And dark before dawn, John Morgan is just rated a pound better than Lady Jane Felsham for Paul Rose. But faux par for Steve Rowan isn't rated much inferior to them. Other than between them, they won quite a few races. They've dark before dawn's won two of her last four. Lady Fel Jane Felsham's won three of her last four. And faux par's won two of her last four. Also, Django's got the Doctor, who was a winner last time out. Beaujou bonus Millior for Vinnie Gerard was a winner two times ago as well. So there's plenty there with chances in motion of the post and thousand Sophies for Leon Van Rensburg and Molly at Silver respectively are both outsiders that have got winning form so it could be a bit of a cracking race that one race 23 will be the sprinters the three-year-old sprinters over six furlongs in the Commonwealth Cup and Spooky Wood he's the top rated there so can John Morgan win the sprint and the long distance gold cup on the same day it would show what a top trainer he is and uh, his favourite to do so in both races Spooky Wood just about the top rated in that race, Magnetide for Thunderspark is the second highest rated, although the form doesn't look anywhere near as good. Airwolf has got two wins. New Tricks has got two wins. Search and Destroy has been close. Sensi Sariosis has won once as well. So Space Adventure. And Darren Thompson throws a newcomer, Oaklander, straight into the mix. So plenty of chances in that one as well. And then the day will wind up with the Wolferton Handicap. 
A 10 furlong handicap for the older horses and country feedback for Derek Hinton is the top rated one there. On 98, although Ninja Genie for Leon van Rensburg looks to have slightly better form and is rated £2 inferior. Darren Thompson's Tina's Villa also be one that could be with a chance. And last time when a record plant, it was second the race before, will be looking a bit of a warm order, I would think. £15 off top weight. The main one, though, to really focus on, probably got to be Laird Silvestris for Darren Howes, who's got form figures at 0221 and who's running off a mark of 67. So getting weight from all the top horses and top stables, that one could be many people's banker for the final race of the day and that'll be your day two then i'm afraid you've got me behind a mic for all of the ascot races today as tim can't make it and Stu's stepping in for the races at newbury and in fact Stu's just told me that he's going to do the gold cup for me as well so how good are that and you know Stu likes these long distance races and i'm sure he'll tell us a tale or two while they're making their way around that two and a half mile race so let's get over to ascot now then for the first race today the ribble star stakes